If you do what you've always done, you're going to get what you've always got. Welcome back to the Jamal Show, man. Thank y'all for tuning in to another great episode. And uh, today I got a really, really good one for you. And it just kind of hit me, man. I've been doing a lot of research on my own and listen to a lot of different podcasts, which I do anyway. You know, I like to to come to y'all with new ideas and a new perspective on the things that we've always heard. Right. There's this culture right now. And I, I'm kind of part of it, unfortunately, or fortunate, however you want to look at it. Uh, it's help the success of the show but at the same time it got me thinking about where we are at the state of a generation right and particularly i'm talking about the millennials and the newer generations right we're in this stage where if you're already married this may not apply to you but it also might but mainly the people that are dating right i've been making a lot of dating content lately So I'm sticking there and there's a lot of information out there about dating, but the information is a little skewed, isn't it? A lot of it is either one sided from a man perspective who's been hurt and who's been damaged. And then the other side is from a woman's perspective who's been hurt, and who's been damaged. And then you got two damaged goods coming together, (laughs) trying to make it work. How we all heard two wrongs don't make a right. (laughs) Today, I want to point out the fact that there is nothing new under the sun and we all know that saying we've all heard that saying like there's nothing new under the sun and if we truly believe that then why are we constantly trying to fix issues that we know we cannot fix there are no issues that are being fixed it's here to stay Maybe because we're having these conversations, it's bringing awareness. I can appreciate that. It's getting people talking. It's getting different perspectives. But let's just talk about Let's bring one up. Racism. Especially in today's culture, right? As a black man, I've experienced racism and I'm very much aware of it. It still exists. But guess what? It's always exist. To the beginning of time, all different walks of life, all different races, Slavery and racism has always existed. Yes, we fought our way out of it. Yes, there was different things that we could overcome. But the point I'm trying to make is it's nothing new. So let's dial it back a little bit. That one was a bit touchy. Let's talk about relationships, right? Relationships are hard. We're all confused. Social media got us thinking this. This person got us thinking this. But the true essence of it is the bullshit that we're all dealing with has always exist. It's always been here. Ain't nothing new. We may have some new tools to experience it. We may be a little bit more aware because of the advent of social media. We're a little bit more connected. But the bullshit that come with infidelity and this man being with this many women and this woman being with this many men and her playing games and him playing games. It's always been there. And the thing is, a lot of people and shout out to the people that do have platforms and these content creators, because I'm one of them. You paved the way for me to allow to have my own platform and for people to listen to me. But I want to take a different angle. And I'm guilty, if you will, of making some of this content myself. But I just came to realization to say, let me take a different approach to this. Instead of trying to fix the issues, how about we talk about understanding that sometimes things are just what they are? The biggest issue that we're dealing with today are men and women going after what they think they deserve, but they truly cannot obtain. So number one, you know, I say this all the time. It's about being honest and real with yourself. You got to do that first 
if you really want to reap the benefits of the best things that you definitely deserve and are for you in life. That's the first thing. But if you're not honest with yourself, then you can forget the rest. So number one, be honest with yourself. And deep down inside, innately, men know it, women know it. Whether it's family and especially a person that truly adores you. We all know when somebody truly, really, really cares for us. We know when somebody's willing to bend over backwards, who we can really, really trust. If we really, truly wanted to have a relationship or build upon a relationship or not take somebody for granted, we all know that. We all know that one person because typically what we do is we take advantage of them. We take them for granted. We use people. Nobody's talking about that enough. Women use men all the time. And men use women all the time. Right? What do men typically use women for? I'll wait. You're right. Sex. But guess what? Also money. Right? Depending on the type of dude you is. Usually it's sex though. All right, let's flip it. What do women typically use men for? You guessed it. Money. But also sex. So it sounds like we're using each other. Maybe it tips a little bit more in this way. It tips a little bit more this way. But if, you're, if you've been in a situation where you've experienced that, advice, if I've ever given any, just avoid it. Start going after people, man. Number one, start going after people and appreciating these people that are in your life that actually care about you that want to see you succeed that want to see you do well and if you got somebody that's rocking with you start to look past some of the, the materialistic things that we deem valuable and disclaimer when I talk and I have these conversations and I make these shows this is also therapeutic for myself I'm also talking to me I've said that before also but if you're new here, this is not me saying, oh, I, I know everything because I don't. I'm taking my own advice. But the truth of the matter is, what if we did that? What if we actually start looking past some of the materialistic things and said, hmm, I wonder how much value this person would bring into my life if I actually gave them a chance? If I actually said, you know, you bring this, that, boom, man, you made my life easier. I wonder how easy it would be a year from now. I don't know, two years from now. I wonder how many more things I could accomplish or we could accomplish together if we just put the bullshit aside and said, you know what it is, just me and you. But what society say? What do we say? Can we really make this work? There's a lot of men out there that have walls up, just like women, because of what they've been through. Like There's a, there's a big culture right now and the player, the bad boy, the, the, the I ain't got time for you. I'm on my shit. And I'm, I've been a part of that culture. Hell, I'm part of it right now. If I'm being very transparent, I get it. We all done been through things in life that make you want to say, well, why in the hell would I, do I want to do that? Why would I sell myself short? Well, there's a certain time till you get to a certain level and you get to a certain caliber where all the work that you've been putting in starts to get recognized. And at that moment, it's time to flip the switch, man. It's time to say, I think she rocking with me. Same for women. All men ain't dogs. Sometimes men are literally out here having to work on themselves. They has, every dog has had his day. <laughs> Lord knows I have. But when you get to that certain point as men and women, let's start having conversations to build each other instead of having conversations to combat. Everything is about, nah, you should do this and I should do this. What happened to, all right, let me hear your point. Okay, so this is where we're missing as men. And ladies, y'all do the same. Okay, okay, so this is where we're missing the point as women. I wonder how far we'll go. These are just my thoughts, man. The fact that y'all tune into this show and listen to me ramble about some of the things that I feel like we should address in our community and in our society. And today, 
I'm so grateful and so thankful. If you watch this, man, I hope that I earned a thumbs up and a subscribe to you. Help me grow the channel. If you like the production, I have a lot of the equipment that I use down in the description. And if you want to join the show, all you got to do is hit me at collab at the Show.com. Once again, that's collab at the Show.com. Shout out to the Peace Love brand, man. If you want to pick up some nice merch, go to the Show.com. I got all some good stuff. You can support the show that way. Also, shout out to our sponsors, Promote Love and Positivity. I got our clothing on right now. Go check out that website as well. That's plpapparel.net. Once again, that's plpapparel.net. And of course, man, shout out to y'all. I love y'all. Stay blessed. And until next time, love, peace. Thank you.